everyone. Today I'm bringing you a little review of my Speedy Bandolier 25 in Empreint and the color is Aurora. Here's my little baby. And of course I'll include all what's in my bag. <laughs> but first I want to give a big warm welcome to anyone who's new to my channel and you haven't heard of me before. I really hope that you find in my channel things that interest you and that I'm able to help you and answer any questions that you may have regarding any of these articles that I review, including bags, makeup, baby stuff, whatever it is. I am going to have a little pop-up right here. Go ahead and click the subscribe button. That way you'll get a little notification every time I upload new content. So I'm going to start off by giving you some basic information about the Speedy Bandolieri 25. I'll show you her again. And right now I do have the straps on her. Let me give you the measurements right off of the website. She is 9.8 inches in length. 7.5 inches in height and 6.7 inches in width. Okie dokie, she does come with removable and adjustable leather straps. It is a three piece system, one, two, three, and that is spectacular because you can shorten it or lengthen it to your convenience. So I am going to show you some modeling shots after so you can see with my frame I am 5'4 and you will see how it fits me. I can wear this comfortably as a crossbody as well as over the shoulder and even on the crook of my arm as many ladies like to carry. Now I promised you a review. And I will tell you something. I know a lot of women swear by the Speedies. And I have to tell you, in all honesty, this is my first Speedy ever. And I fell in love with the color and Nastasia's review on it. I absolutely love her. She's dark. And she's like so sweet and her accent just does it for me. So to make a long story short, I I ended up being talked into getting this bag because I saw her review and I was like, oh my god, I have to have that bag. I love it. The pop of color, it's like perfect. I found the bag. I bought it. I love the color. I don't use it that much. Here's why. I realized that first and foremost, for me, my opinion, it's not very comfortable to carry the bag in the crook of the arm. I know some women swear by it, but it's just me, my opinion. Secondly, that one's not a deal breaker because it does come with the straps. Secondly though, this opening, although in the emprunt, it is much easier to open, okay? I still notice that for me, it's kind of annoying. I put my hand inside and I'm constantly hitting the zipper. And I don't like that. I don't like that. It's kind of annoying to me. But um, it is a great bag other than that. I love that it has the feet on the bottom so I don't feel like if, you know, this beautiful emprunt leather is getting damaged whenever I lay it down on anything. <sighs> and it's a beautiful color. So let's um, get into what I have inside and how I pack it. Um, and really quick, you should know that it's called the Speedy 25 because it measures 25 centimeters here. Okay, 25 centimeters. So let's get into see how I pack my Speedy B 25. So here's this beautiful baby. And let's do the zipping. I love the way the zipper sounds. Listen. 
Ah, so smooth. Louis Vuitton, you can always rely on their zippers. All right, let's take a look inside. It's pretty packed, but I definitely still have more room to go. First and foremost, these two back pockets. Let's see. Cell phone. This is an iPhone 6S and it does fit perfectly. I have my keys in the second pocket for ease of access. I always know exactly where they are. Okay. Let's get into some more of the content. I have my toiletry. Oh no, he didn't just bark when I'm making a video. Excuse me. <laughs> okay, I'm back. Had to take the doggies outside. So inside of my toiletry 19, um, I have a couple of items. I don't have it overpacked because this is just what I'm going to be using as I'm out. I usually leave the house with makeup on. In the event that I don't have makeup, then yes, I would have more items in here. Um, I just picked this up. It's the bronzing powder by Hula. And it is in the color, I'm sorry, not by Hula, by Benefit, duh, the color is Hula. There we go. And it is adorable. This mirror sucks. <laughs> it comes with its own little brush that's the color I've used it a couple times and I have to say I really like it and next I cannot leave home without the eyelash curler it just I can't function with it my eyelashes are like super long but they're super straight down not good not good what else do I got in here I have, and this is in no particular order, I can't live without my Bobbi Brown mascara. I love this stuff. It's not too wet. It's not too dry. It's just perfect. What else? I have a little blush brush. And this is a Bobbi Brown lipstick. The color is Sand Washed Pink. In here, I have one of my Chanel lipsticks, and this is actually the one I'm currently wearing. This is in the color Liberté. Liberty? There they go again. They're barking. That's probably telling me they got to come back in. Excuse me. And I'm back again. So, I also have this lip gloss, and it is the Dior Lip Maximizer Collagen Active. I have this little blush by becca it's a mineral blush and the color is flower child this came recommended by jacqueline hill and if you know jacqueline hill whatever she says you have to go out and buy obviously hello and her and i have a complexion that's very similar because i'm very white and i use the same one as her and i love it i can't i can't complain next i have my anastasia clear brow gel very important and I have my Chanel lip liner, which I'm currently wearing, and this is in the number 38. And last but not least, I also have my black eyeliner. This is CoverGirl Perfect Point Plus. Just picked it up in the drugstore. So that's what I have inside of my toiletry 19 currently for the day. As you can see, it'll just be a couple of quick touch-ups. That's what I packed in there. Next, I have my mini pouche accessoire. I keep showing you inside the bag so you see what's going on in there. How I'm doing with space. And I got a good suggestion that whenever I'm packing the Speedy to always pack everything in lines, <clears throat> it does help when finding things. So in here, I have my tie to go pen. I have a mini toothpaste and a mini toothbrush. This is something that we should never leave home without. Just in case you never want to have food stuck on your teeth. I have some gift cards, extra 
points cards, some receipts. I have Motrin for any headaches. I have feminine products and a chapstick. Can never leave home without a chapstick. All right, next. I have my Zippy Compact in the cherry color. I love this in the emprunt. I have my agenda in the PM size. I also have this small little, it's not an SLG, it's just a little bag from Victoria's Secret. Um, it was a little gift and in it I have <laughs> some more feminine products. I have two hair ties and I have an additional ladies panty in the event. You know, girls, that was very personal. But anyway, it's always good to be fresh, especially in that time of the month. Moving on, I have my cutie that my daddy gave me. This is a little coin purse from Japan. And in it, I carry my Bobbi Brown corrector. This is in the color light bisque. I think I've told you guys about this one. I can't find it on Sephora anymore, but I've seen it on Amazon. This is the Josie Moran Coconut Water Cutter Cheek Jelly. And this is in the color Pink Escape. I love, love, love this. This is excellent for just like a quick touch of color. It's thebomb.com. I also have some Bobbi Brown Creamy Concealer. And this is in the color porcelain, and it also brings a sheer finished pressed powder in the color white. I haven't used this one so much anymore, but I used to swear by it. I've moved on to a different concealer. And that one is called Born This Way by Tarte. No, by Too Faced. Too Faced makes Born This Way. That's the one I'm using. And ladies, we should always have a tweezer for those unsightly little hairs coming out in the eyebrows. And you'll notice down here, let's wait for the camera to focus. You'll notice down here I have my Louis Vuitton little dust bag. I carry this inside of the bag specifically for if I want to remove one of the straps and change it from crossbody to shoulder carry or if I just want to wear it on the crook of my arm which is not really my thing but I like to just put it in here so I can protect it from the rest of the contents in the bag and then in this back zippered pocket I have a hair clip I have my rental car key in here and that is all she wrote and that is what I carry inside of my Speedy Bandoliere 25. I will show you some mod shots now. Okay guys, so here I have her on the shoulder. Okay, and currently I have her on the, let's see, the very shortest, like I said, I'm 5'4", <laughs> and this is shoulder carry, let's see where she rests, this is from the front, okay, go ahead and put her crossbody now. This is a comfortable length for me for crossbody. It may not be for other ladies. It's just easy access for me if I want to open, take anything out. You see, this is the thing about the Speedy for me. It kind of like just sticks out, so I don't know where to put my hand whenever I'm walking with it like this. And I actually like crossbodies. I don't know, it's kind of like, boom, you're getting stuck there, right? That's me, my personal preference. Now, 
Here we go, crook of the arm. Super cute. Yes, I can wear it like this if I want. Some women swear by holding their purses by there. I don't, it just doesn't feel as secure. I like to have my hands free. So I've noticed that I prefer to just have it either on my shoulder or crossbody. But this is an adorable bag. All right, guys, that's my review slash little what's in my bag for the Speedy Bandolieri 25, the color Aurore in Emprunt Leather. I sincerely hope you enjoyed my review and I wanted to let you guys know that I am thinking of doing a little giveaway. Um, I will have the details in an upcoming video, so please stay tuned. And if you haven't done so already, go ahead and hit the subscribe button right here. I'm working on my editing game. <laughs> okay, guys, seriously though, I really appreciate you guys and I'm super excited to make these videos. See you next time.